A while ago, I bought one of these two-in-one soldering stations, which is a hot air gun and a normal soldering iron. But I've been having an issue with the hot air gun. The manual mode works fine, but the automatic mode, which is supposed to turn off the hot air gun when you put it on the holder, will no longer work. I've had a look online and it's probably the magnetic switch which is broken so I'm gonna show you how to repair it in this video. First of all, I've already taken out the two screws in the handle, then I have to unscrew this piece of plastic and then you can open it up, it's not too complicated, it's just a fan, a heating element, some wires. PCB which only acts as a connector and the magnetic switch is right here. Now this is supposed to close the circuit when a magnet is near it and here on the PCB there's a marking saying handle which then shorts the ground when the switch is closed. So let's check the switch first. Here I have the multimeter set to continuity mode, as you can see it beeps when it's connected. And now I'm just gonna put the magnet over the switch and check both sides, there and there, so make sure I'm making a good connection. Yeah, as you can see it is open circuit despite having the magnet under. I can also test it on the PCB here. Just put the magnet back in and probe the points on the PCB and yeah, again nothing. There is absolutely no connection. It shows a reading here but that's not accurate because it should be direct short. So I bought these replacement magnetic reed switches, single pull, single throw. That's the type that's in there. And I bought five of them just in case. These are also high voltage with contact resistance, with low contact resistance to avoid any issues in the future. But if it was sparking and the PCB design was bad on the soldering iron, I can always go back and add a resistor later. I'm not gonna bother with it just now. So let's open these up, get them out. And let's just test them with a the multimeter to make sure they are working fine. So I'm just gonna put the magnet on it again and test the contact with the multimeter. And surely it's shorting. And when I take the magnet away, it's no longer making contact. Just to make sure once again with the magnet, it is shorted and when you remove it, it is not great so the switch is working let's just get the hot air gun and swap out the switch one thing to note here as i went to grab the switch it broke into a million pieces and it's glass so that also confirms it was broken and just be careful when removing it because you might cut your hands with it i'm just gonna quickly desolder them ironically enough using the same station and then hot glue it back into place also to relieve this pressure from the contact pins because that might be the thing that's causing the glass to break I'm also gonna use some heat shrink to make sure it's not strained I'm just gonna use some tweezers to hold the broken piece and heat it up while pulling away There goes one piece, here's the next, okay, and I've already bent the other switch into shape, here it is, I just need to strip back these wires a bit and thin them so I can solder it to the switch quickly. I'm just gonna hold one side first and solder it like so 
Yep, it's on there. Now do the same thing on the other side. I think that's good enough. Just make sure. Yep, that's soldered. Now I'm just gonna use a heat shrink over the entire switch to make sure it doesn't get destroyed again. Now I have this piece of shrink tubing and I'm just gonna push it over the switch. Nothing is gonna short so it's okay to bend it over like that. Just push it in, make sure it's all the way in there. Oh, that's a bit difficult. Uh, okay, I got it. Now I'm just gonna shrink this using a lighter. Okay, the other side now. Yeah, that's gonna do just fine. And I'm just gonna put it back together and test the automatic function to see it works fine or not. I'm also gonna secure it in the position as the previous switch using some hot glue. So if it happens again, I can easily remove it and replace it. Also, just a quick note on putting these hot air guns back together. There is a notch on the top which should match with the notch in the plastic. If you don't align them correctly, you'll have a hard time closing it and you're probably gonna end up breaking something. Just watch out for it. I'm just gonna put it back together quickly. Uh, yeah, that's on there. Put the plastic piece back. And put the screws back into the handle. There goes one. And there goes two. I'll just tighten them up with the screwdriver. One is done. Next one. This one's also done, just don't over tighten them. Now for the big test, I'm gonna put it here. Turn on the hot air, it shouldn't start up. That seems to work just fine. And I'm just gonna pick it up and it should start working. Just as expected. And I'm just gonna put it back in and see if it shuts down and cools off again. Yeah, the temperature is going down and turned off. Fantastic. It's working. I hope you find this video useful and see you guys in the next one.